What was that noise? No! Oh my god! This can't be happening! Springstatue. Ja, ich glaube, wenn du einen Knallfrosch in den Hohlkörper da, da dann passiert ein bisschen was. Well, I finally managed to retrieve this accursed guitar. Mr. Huckleberry had better be grateful. Oh, good evening. I believe the sheriff is indisposed at the moment. Yes, that's... But he should be with you in an hour or two. Not so fast, Ms. Mayor. I'm not here for the sheriff. I'm here to make sure you don't get away with what you've done. Huh? I have no idea who you are or what you are talking about, but I am far too busy for this. Now, if you will excuse me, Ms. Hart, um... <clears throat> yes, Ms. Hart. I'm the new mayor of Corona. And I am more than willing to tell the sheriff who really blew up that statue. Us? <sighs> Ms. Hart, I believe we got off on the wrong foot. Let us start anew. Would you care to explain why Corona's mayor is wasting her valuable time in my town? <laughs> You'd better get used to seeing my face around here. Because I'm running against you for mayor of this hellhole. What? <laughs> you must have hit your head hard this morning, Miss Hart. To consider yourself worthy of being my rival is the height of folly. <laughs> Laugh if it makes you feel better. Just keep in mind that even a pawn can take a king. But it is unlikely that a pawn can take a queen, especially when your opponent is so capable. Nonetheless, I look forward to your attempt. It should be amusing, if nothing else. Wait, Corona's elections were just last month. How can you be running for mayor here? Oh, I didn't resign, if that's what you're asking. I plan to be in charge of both towns. Mm -hmm. You cannot be mayor of two towns at once. Oh, but I can. See, I recently passed this little piece of legislation that allows the mayor of Corona to take on additional responsibilities in the county without giving up their position. Oh, that must this here auch geändert werden. Is it not? Still, you will never win an election in this town. The people adore me. Ha! <laughs> Certainly not me! See? The people are ready for a change. Ha! <laughs> change! I'd still rather vote for Eliza than for you, sweetheart. What was it you were saying, Ms. Hart? Since you are the new mayor of Corona, how did you manage to get Mr. Wiggins to cede the position of mayor? Oh, he was only too happy to appoint me mayor and enjoy his well-earned retirement. He would not have given up his chair even if it were in flames. What did you do? You might enjoy this, actually. Did you ever hear about Operation Alter Boy? What politician worth her salt has not? But why? Oh no, you did not. Oh, but I did. And did you? Yes, twice actually. And did he see the? Oh, he certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, where were we again? We should talk about the former residents of that raised orphanage. Oh, so now you care about child welfare. Those children need a home, and you are partly responsible for solving the problem. Well, I'm sure we can resolve this in no time at all. Let's set a date and work to... To get... To get... To... You can't say it either, huh? I suppose the children are comfortable enough for now. We can table this for the time being. My professor. You could lift the ban Mr. Wiggins imposed on my offspring. Why would I do that? 
A permanent ban for the biohazard incident seems perfectly reasonable to me. To be fair, while my offspring may have brought that radioactive iguana to your town, it being explosive was entirely Michael's fault. I don't care. Your daughter is a menace. I want her as far away from me, I mean, Corona, as possible. I will not argue with that. But are the wanted dead or alive posters really necessary? Yes! Well, let me just say, I do not envy you. Oh, but you will. Especially once I make your town part of Corona. And force you to scrub the bathrooms with a toothbrush. Thank you for the insight, Ms. Hart. Now I know what to do with you once you lose. How did you know I was here? Oh, that was easy. All I had to do was follow the trail of pain and suffering you leave in your wake. I do not leave a... <laughs> Point for Reuben. Did you blow up that statue just to get your hands on that piece of evidence? This is not evidence, Miss Hart. It is called a guitar. Now, you will stop making wild accusations, or I will beat you senseless with it. Up to you. Will you be staying here long? If so, I know a place for you to lay your head. Silencing me will get you nowhere, Miss Barrett! No, you paranoid goose. There are lovely rooms available at- You can't lock me in one of your jail cells and expect that to shut me up! Your dictatorship ends here, Miss Barrett. You might imprison me, but you won't win. What the hell? Go ahead. Lock me up and throw away the key. Do your worst, but I will not be silenced. No matter what you do to me, I will rise above it and free this town from your tyranny. Are you finished yet? No, but you will be after this very public disturbance. Nothing like a little defiance to weaken the enemy's authority after all. I cannot help but feel I know you from somewhere. What did you say your name was? Oh, I already told you everything you need to know. If there's anything else, I'm sure someone as brilliant as you can figure it out. It would save some precious time if you just told me. You'll have all the time in the world to figure it out. Once I kick your ass in the election, that is. Is that how you want to play it? By the time I am done with you, watering Chuck will be the only job you will ever get. Chuck? The plant? The one and only. On second thought, I tire of this conversation. Why do you not go back to Corona and admire my work from afar? Who knows, you may even learn something. What is there left to learn? I've already studied everything there is to know about you. Every radio speech, every TV appearance, every article and book you've written. I've seen it all. Oh, I see what is going on here. Oh my, why didn't you say so sooner? To my most special admirer, Ms. Hart. Thank you for your support in the upcoming election. There. Let it not be said that Eliza Barrett cannot recognize a fan when she sees one. Now, off you go. I have much left to do tonight. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that took me light. Start recording? I have yet to find any tape, so no. Äh, ich habe doch ein Bad gefunden, da ist es. Aber wo waren das? Nee. Das war im Tiki Taka Land hier. Komm her. Na, zurück, zurück.
Excuse me, Max, but I need to borrow the reporter. It will not be long. What a surprise! Eliza Barrett stealing the spotlight! There are some things I would like to ask you, Ms. Peterson. Oh, if you insist. I cannot help but notice your recording device. I have been assaulted by multitudes of reporters, but have never seen a machine such as yours. Oh, this little thing. My mother made it for me. Mm -hmm. She's really good at tinkering. What I was that? Your mother? How sweet. It is heartening to see such a strong bond between parent and child. Anyway, what I was trying to say was... I need your recorder, Ms. Peterson. And I need some classified information. Perhaps we can arrange a trade? You think a mere tape recorder is worth the price of confidential information I might possess? As I mentioned, this one is very special to me. So, it makes sense that I need something special in return, yes? Before I hand this to you, you must promise to keep it safe. <laughs> it is for your eyes only. Do not mention anything in your article that could betray military secrets. Don't worry. Nothing I'll do with that information will damage my country in any way. Yeah, your land sowieso nicht. Huh? Wonderful. Now, if you would not mind. Pleasure doing business with... Wait, where is the tape? You asked for the recorder, and you had it. As for the tape... Well, you strike me as a resourceful woman. I'm sure you'll manage. Wait, you had another one this whole time? A reporter is always ready for any situation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ich mach das genauso. Plutsch, platsch. Very well, Mr. Huckleberry. Let us get started. Now, Mr. Huckleberry, I have upheld my end of the deal. I expect you will do the same. Not so fast. You gotta send it to Crooked Deal Records. They'll do the rest. Excuse me? Why do I have to do that? Because it was your idea to put Amos in charge of the mail? Fair enough. Oh, that went to Send this to Crooked Deal Records. It is urgent. <laughs> Can I finish crying? No. <sighs> if you must. But I made a campaign promise to send this out today, so cry quickly, please. <laughs> All things considered, today has been a good day for the Barrett administration. Time to head home and get some well-deserved rest. Später in derselben Nacht. Well, well, well. My offspring trying to sneak home after staying out too late. What a surprise. Stop calling me that, would you? Now, what weak excuse do you have to offer me this time? I was at the school library, studying for finals. There are no final exams in the middle of summer. I, uh, was obviously studying for next year's finals, duh. <sighs> Everyone else does what they want. Why can't I? 
If everyone else decided to jump off a cliff, would you jump too? Stutterspruch. I mean, like everyone? No. The answer you are looking for is no. Wait, what the hell was that? Enough. Mary Elizabeth Anderson, go to your room now. <sighs> Mary Elizabeth. <sighs> Nothing ever seems to get through that thick skull of hers. Aber was war die Explosion? Hello, John. Mr. President? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? We have a situation in the Southwest, son. Are you familiar with a town called... ...in New Mexico? Yes, I... ...know it quite well. I need you to go down there... ...tonight. One of our birds just went dark after a mid-air collision. Usually that wouldn't be an emergency, but there was an A-bomb aboard. And if they crashed into what we think they did, things could get... ...complicated. First, you'll need to recover our cargo. Next, find what hit our boys and bring it into our custody. Understood, sir. To ensure there's no chance of this getting out, you'll be launching Project Tranquility once you arrive at the target location. Project Tranquility? The last I heard, that project was still under development. Wexler and McGill assured me everything is ready to be tested. With all due respect, sir, I don't feel comfortable field testing that equipment on our own people. John, the state of the nation demands gentle handling, and this would cause one hell of an uproar. Whether you want to believe it or not, Project Tranquility is our best option. Besides, testing this now could prevent armed conflict in the future. Understood. If I may, sir, the energy requirements of Project Tranquility are extremely high. How do you suggest we address that, sir? We're in luck, General. The construction of the Mammoth Butte Dam was completed just a few weeks ago. It is scheduled to become the primary source of electricity for the area next year, but it's already fully operational. Now, this mission is of the utmost secret. I won't be able to contact you once you're in the field, so plan accordingly. Yes, sir. Well, you have your orders, General. I look forward to your report when you return. God damn it. <sighs> hmm. Attention all personnel. Prepare to mobilize immediately. Move, move, move. Geheime Pläne von Soldaten und Sündern. Das klingt aber sündisch. This couch will be the death of me. What has my offspring done now? It's not about Betty this time, Eliza. It's Lincoln. There was a plane crash last night. That is fine. He is fine. Nod your head, Amos. Agree with me. Eliza. I must go to him. Is he in the hospital? Is he conscious? He's at the airfield, but we can't get in there right now. They're on lockdown until they figure out what the hell happened last night. We need to start making calls immediately. Get the sheriff on the phone. I'm the sheriff. The marshal then, or the marines. No, no, call the coast guard. They always know what to do in these situations. Okay, listen to me for just a second, Eliza. Come with me now, and I'll drive you to Lincoln when we're done. Maybe the lockdown will be over by then. Fine, damn it. I will come with you.
They arrived yesterday, right after the accident, and they built this whole base in less than 12 hours. Eliza, something seriously strange is going on. You bet there's something strange going on. I do not remember approving that building permit. And more importantly, I do not recall receiving any payment for that building permit. Who else knows about this? No one in town knows anything, and the governor won't take my calls. Can you blame him? The last few times you called him, you babbled about chipmunk gangs like a lunatic. Can we focus on the important thing here? What the hell should we do about this? Have you tried talking with the people here? Of course I did. But they always give me the same answer. Look. Stop right there. See? Well, we did everything we could. Now I suggest we... Eliza! <sighs> Fine, but let me handle this, okay? God, oh, this is the highlight of my day. Oh, God. Do not touch that, ma'am. Since you seem to lack common sense, I will be nice and explain it to you. Soldiers have guns. A crutch. What the hell is your problem? Can't you see I'm on break? Stop doing that! I'm warning you! Alle guten Dinge sind vier. I hate killing before breakfast, but I'll do what I have to do. Und dann sind's fünf. Okay, that does it. Who do I have to kill to finish my meatballs in peace? Ach ja. You had better watch your tone, Private. I am Mayor Eliza Barrett. Congratulations on your success, ma'am. But you could be the Queen of England for all I care. I can make your life a living hell much more easily than the Queen of England can. <laughs> Now, I suggest you let me speak to whoever is in charge of this operation. That's not gonna happen. The General... Are you aware of my 85-point plan for community-based economic restructuring? <laughs> What? Oh, you are not? Allow me to elaborate then. I intend to amend the zoning regulations by resolutions 1104-1943-RT as related to approved uses in commercial zone C4 to C252.5. This means we need to cross-reference statute A11B.5, which governs the use of non-indigenous building materials. Oh my god. Passierschein A38. Ein paar hundert Gesetze bestimmt später. And if you like number 34, just wait until you hear about number 35. It is very complicated, but... Oh, just stop, please! You're gonna drive me insane! Are you sure? 35 is quite interesting. It details financial legislation affecting rodents, raccoons, and other... Ma'am, the general is not here. And I don't know when he'll be back. What? Well, Why did you not tell me that six hours ago? Believe me, I tried. You wouldn't shut... Uh, stop talking. You have made a powerful enemy today, Private. I will go back to my office, grab my book. And by the time I am done, not even your grandmother will... Eliza! Please excuse her. It's a very stressful time. She's concerned about losing a voter this close to the election. Come on, let's go. There's nothing more we can do here. Look, I hate to suggest this, but remember my brother-in-law, the one in the FBI? He's a pain in the neck, but maybe he can dig around and find some info for us. I'll call him when I get back to the station. Nach einem erfolglosen Besuch durch den Flugplatz kehren Amos und die Eliza mit leeren Händen zurück. Look, I know what's scary, but there's not much you can do for Lincoln until he comes out of the coma. Why don't you go back to work? I'm sure the campaign needs your attention. You know, Amos, you might be right. Work is just what I need to keep my mind off this predicament. Great, but please don't go just yet. I need moral support for this phone call. The best agent the FBI has to offer. What can I do for you tonight? Hey, Jack, it's Amos. 
Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. Come on, Jack. You know I wouldn't call if it wasn't important. Listen, Amos. It's late, and I don't want you to think I don't care about you or your problems. But I don't. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna... Will you listen to me for once in your life? God damn it! Something really serious is going down here. You have to help us. Get it through your thick skull. Unless it's for a federal crime, it's not my problem. Is this about the federal crime? No, but the military... Always a pleasure, Amos. Take care of yourself. Adios. Are you all right, Amos? Damn showboat prick. Ugh. Yes, I, uh, I'm fine. I don't know what else I expected, but he's not going to help unless it's a federal crime. A federal crime, you say? Eliza, what are you scheming about? Oh, never you mind. Just keeping myself occupied, as you said. I will see you later, Amos. With all that has happened today, I nearly forgot to go to the church and check up on Father Jenkins. Aber das schon. Want a oh, 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 oh. Aber wenn sie meint, da will sie hin, dann gehen wir hin. Vielleicht sollte ich mal speichern zwischendurch. Hä? Can I help you, ma'am? Who are you? And where is Father Jenkins? The name's Jack Riley. And Father Jenkins is off on a well-earned vacation. What? Why was I not informed? Ah, uh, you know how long it takes news to get here from Rome. You do not look like a typical cleric at all. Hey, I was directly appointed by the Cathedral of Our Lady, Signora of Guadalupe. Um, of the holy flower of the peaceful dove of Mary? Enough. You are barely credible as a man, let alone a priest. But you know what? I will have Amos sort this out. It is not worth my time. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Now, that is a much faster way of confirming my suspicions. Where is Father Jenkins, you fraudulent fiend? Look, the father's getting ready for a one-way trip to paradise. He might even live long enough to unpack his suitcase, provided you cooperate. Ugh! This is outrageous! Fine. What do you want from me? Buckle up, sweet cheeks! Cause we're gonna rob the first national bank. Warum? What? Are you out of your mind? Perhaps. Now listen. I have it on good authority that the bank's got a literal fortune hidden in the vault. Over half a million dollars in cash. Oh, and the recipe for something called special sauce. Name on that account is Michael Walker. Why did you not tell me that first? You did not need the subterfuge. I would have signed up in a heartbeat. Who cares? The point is, half a million bucks is just sitting there, waiting to be snatched up. Just focus on doing a clean job. You'll get your cut, don't worry. Fine, but what about Jenkins? After I reach my safe house, I'll send you a telegram with his location. You can go get him yourself. Is there anything we need to get before the operation? Well, we're gonna need disguises, of course. I also need you to speak with a buddy of mine, name of Harrelson. He's an expert safecracker. Then we gotta find someone who can disable the alarm for us and... Slow down. It sounds like you are placing a lot of trust in me. And by trust, I mean making me do all your dirty work. What part of being blackmailed do you not understand, lady? You don't get to choose the terms. You just get to carry them out. Then I should begin immediately. The sooner I start, the sooner this will be over. Not so fast. There's one more thing. You gotta make sure the park is empty. No potential witnesses. And just how do you expect me to accomplish all that? 
If you are really as smart as you seem to think you are, you'll find a way. Okay. When you decided to go after Michael Strongbox and come to this town, were you not worried about our sheriff? Amos is a legendary lawman. <laughs> yeah, legendary for being gullible. I mean, the guy believes in the Sasquatch. <laughs> How could anyone take him seriously? What a joke. Anyway, I've been sending him anonymous reports of weird creatures and mysterious entities for months. I bet he's been pretty distracted lately, hasn't he? So it was you. You are the one filling his head with inane stories about mobster woodchucks. Mobster woodchucks? What? No, I just planted fake Sasquatch footprints around the lake. What the hell is a mobster woodchuck? Hmm, da kommen wir aber auch noch zu. I would like to know more about you, Mr. Riley. All you need to know right now is how to prepare for the heist. If you do a good job, maybe I'll consider answering more questions. That will be all, Mr. Riley. I must go. Wait, before you leave, I have to give you the password. Password? What password? You know, a secret code so Harrelson knows who's sending you. Oh, that kind of password. Well, what is it? One that you'll easily remember. I'd like to rent a room with cheese, please. Now, get moving. You've got a job to do. And remember, not one word to the fuzz. I will hold up my end of the bargain. Never doubt that. And, Mr. Riley, if anything happens to Father Jenkins, you had better pray to whatever god you believe in. Because nothing in this world or the next will spare you from the wrath of Eliza Barrett. Hmm. Deswegen war er so seltsam. Aber sie hat's nicht geschafft. I cannot believe I have to save Jenkins Hyde again. <sighs> Focus, Eliza. Picking up three costumes and getting Mr. Riley's friend to help us should not be a problem. Then, we have to remove any potential witnesses from the park. That part might prove tricky. And I have no clue how to disable the alarm at the bank. Well, it is going to be a long night. Der Alarm, Alarm, Mann. Der Alarm, Alarm, Mann. 